So, how's it going guys? Shady here, back with another deck profile, and today I'm gonna bring you, um, like, post ban list uh, Infernoble. So, after uh, the new ban list, uh, the deck shifted from being Isolde Turbo to just being Angelica Turbo. And since Angelica is a generic level 5 synchro, I just thought that the best engine to play with this deck would be uh, the Super Heavy Samurai, because uh, it will give a one-card combo, it will give uh, ex a ways to extension, since it also gives you a free uh, Pendulum Summon, and um, it doesn't use a normal summon at all, so uh, you, yeah, you get uh, the level 5 for free, you get a normal summon and an extra Pendulum Summon uh, for you to play... Uh, with just this one card, so uh, yeah, this was, uh, in my opinion, uh, the best way, is the best way to play now, uh, most probably, and yeah, let's get into it, uh, so let's start for the work one card combos, uh, we get uh, Wakaushi, Wakaushi for himself is a one card combo, so just activate Wakaushi, you set uh, Big Banky uh, from the deck uh, on the pendulum scale, and your special summon, you get the search for the soul horns, you equip, equip the Soul Horns, Special Summon, and you can Synchro 5. And now, the cool part is that uh, also Wakaushi in this combo allows you to chain block Angelica, because now you can go chain link 1 Angelica to search chain link to uh, Wakaushi to uh, set on the scale. And now you get your museum, you go museum search for uh, Durandal, you can also go all, ma all mace, uh, because um, if you go all mace, uh, sometimes in some combos you need to go all mace so that you have multiple equips for something like uh, uh, Immortal Gear Free, uh, but also because it can bait some like interactions from the opponent um, on your, um, since when this card is targeted you can just uh, Banish it, uh, mill one, uh, uh, send one from deck and just special summon the other level 5, you know? That's what gets you your old combo started. Um, so, yeah, it will, uh, like, um, let you um, bait some interactions and you have not even went into your normal summon, which is really, really insane. Uh, but So we go uh, Durandal here, if not you just go Almasse, Almasse, get Durandal, Durandal, activate. And we're gonna get Ogier because we have not normal summon. We're gonna normal summon Ogier and send Turpin. And now we're gonna go Turpin on Angelica and Angelica effect. Banish, uh, send Oliver and special summon Roland. And now you can normal um, synchro summon into Charles. And now we have one, two, uh, no, sorry, this one. Uh, we have three uh, equips still. So you're gonna use the first one, Oliver, to get the first link one. And we're gonna equip Charles and use the museum to special summon Charles. And we're gonna use the second one to equip and make the second Emperor Charles. And this is gonna be your end board. You get the double Charles. In the end phases, uh, the other Charles can activate to equip Magus from the deck and the Randall from the graveyard. So uh, when the Charles leaves the field, you get um, uh, some like recursion by shuffling back some cards on your graveyard with Magus and getting a draw, which is really nice. And the Randall can I'll activate to a special summon a level five or lower fire from your graveyard, which is really nice. And of course, in the end phase, Angelica now returns as well. So this is your one-card combo board. It's just uh, three interruptions, uh, basically. Uh, one thing also you can uh, do is uh, when uh, the card is, uh, is when a card is equipped to him on the end phase, you can activate its effect to like pop, for example, the Emperor Charles in the graveyard, so that uh, you have a slot open. Or uh, Roland to activate um, so that you have the further interruption. So, yeah, this is two, three interruptions. Uh, but from here, you can also, uh, if we go back to the 
previous board state, you can also instead special summon Turpin when you're um, when, after you equip Roland, and you can use both of them to make IP, and then on the end phase you get you get the same stuff, of course. This time you don't need to make space because we already don't have the second char, so we have a slot open. And Angelica returns, so this way you have, off of one card, two interruptions in Charles, because you have the Omni, uh, not Omni, the Spell Trap Negate, and you have the um, Roland, to quick, uh, quick pop. And we have Mascarina, which can use Angelica to go into, oh, yeah, I can show it in replay, but you can go into SP, which is two more interruptions. So this is four interruptions, one card combo. Uh, really nice, and of course, Magis uh, will give you um, some recursion when these cards go to the graveyard. Really good. Um, let's go into uh, now. Uh, this was the one card combo. Let's go showcase the two card combo, which is like like Ogier plus Renov or Ogier plus either uh, Heritage. Uh, the Randall Museum, all of those. So you have lots of searches in this deck, so it can be either one of them with the rest of the cards, or with any of the searching spells, or it can be the other uh, with almost all the spells as well, or it can be just Heritage plus any of the other searchers, for example, or Heritage slash um, Rhoda. So this deck is really, really consistent, um, and yeah, this is the best two-card combo, which is Ogier plus Renaud, in my opinion. So let's go into the main phase, normal summon Ogier, Ogier sends Gearfried, um, then you can go Renaud, special summon, and add back the Gearfried. This card is treated as a tuner, by the way, since it was special summoned from uh, um, its effect. So now you can go into Angelica. And Angelica will get you Museum, which can get you Alm Almace, and then you go Almace, get the Randall, and then the Randall, get the Turpin, and now you can go Ogier, target Angelica, and now Angelica will activate St. Oliver, get Roland. Now Oliver is gonna um, equip to it, and then you can use Turpin to special summon, and it won't be banished since it was special summon from the hand. In the S is your Emperor Charles, and then you of course can use Turpin to equip. Go into the Link One, Link One equips Charles, Museum special summons Charles, and we're gonna use Roland to equip. We get. Second Emperor Charles, equivalent to Roland, and then we can go Gearfried, banish Almase to special summon itself, and end phase the same deal. Morgus and Randall are equipped to the other. I like to like separate from, um, and get the end phase effect on the one uh, Charles that does not have the Emperor equipped to it, so that if uh, your opponent removes one of them, it doesn't remove all equips. And of course, Angelica returns to the field. So, uh, yeah, it gave you uh, two spell trap negates, one interruption, um, one pop on uh, any of the Emperor Charles. It's just remember that uh, the, um, the synchro Charles effects are hard ones per turn. So, even if you have two of them, you can't use the pop effect twice, so uh, you can only use the pop effect uh, on one of them. And yeah, then you have the Omnian Gate on Gear 3, which is really good. This was the two card combo, and now um, this is why uh, this engine of the Super Heavy Samurai is really good. This is gonna be the... Uh, what if you already have the, um, let's say, a full combo with uh, Wakaushi uh, and you just have a full combo beside him. So in this case I've got Firefling Lady and Oliver because they are like 
uh, the two monsters that are like they don't it's like a, just a two card combo that it's like not optimal at all it's, it just gives you the synchro uh, it doesn't give you any additional stuff like OG or Renov as I showed you so if you have full combo plus the Wakaushi, Wakaushi is still is really really good because you can go Wakaushi, get Benki, Benki gets more bike, more bike effect to get uh, the Gaia Soul Booster and uh, no, Soul Gaia Booster, then Gaia equips, special summons, and you can go Synchro Eight, and you basically uh, go into Baron in under five summons. You know you have a Baron on field. You can go Pendle Summon Oliver. Uh, here I forgot then Pendle Summon Fire Flint as well, but in this case, just Pendle Summon Oliver and you can Special Summon Fire Flint. Or if the monster doesn't. Um, uh, but yeah, you just Special Summon. So now we have uh, a Pendulum 5. Uh, sorry, a Synchro 5 for Angelica that will just get you your museum. Get all Masse. Um, and of course, you don't need to use our pendulum summon here. Actually, you shouldn't. You you, um, you don't need to just uh, pendulum summon over here. You can just normal summon Oliver and then special summon Fire Flint and probably uh, pendulum summon later. But I just use just because show. But now you get Almase, Almase, Durandal, Durandal, get Ogier, normal summon Ogier, get Turpin. Turpin activate whip, Angelica will banish, send Moggis, get Roland, and now um, since we send Moggis, we can. Uh, I just um, target Moggis uh, by accident. I'll just um, um, fix it in a second, but since we already have all, everything that we wanted right here, we can just send Moggis to get some free uh, recycling. So we're gonna recycle Fire Flint, Almas, and um and Oliver since we already used Oliver I just I just forgot that but here it is yep I fixed it now you can go into the Charles equip it with Ogier go into uh, the link special summon it with museum Magus equips then special summon the Turpin and this is the same combo that I showcased uh, before you just go mask arena and now on end phase you get the uh, Oliver that I shuffled and the Randall and you're gonna get Angelica back so just by having a uh, Wakaushi on top of your um, on top of your mm, um, already full combo uh, you got to protect your combo with Baron, um, so that was really nice. So now we don't lose to Nibiru, for example, and it's much harder to lose to like an Impermon Angelica or something. And we basically go into our opponent's turn with five interruptions since we have Baron and we have the free draw, which is really nice. And yeah, that's basically the combos. This is my deck list. I went with, I just wanted like 10 warriors, um, I went double OG, double, double Reno because they are the best. Uh, one Oliver, Mogis, Turpin because uh, it's part of the combo, we go through this a lot, uh, so uh, it's mandatory, play one of each, you don't want to draw many of them, but one of each is fine. Then we have Ricardetto, which can be really, really good, especially as follow-up, because it's, it revives from the grave, and then you can just go into some plays. You can go into some charmers if you're going and on um, your next turn. You can just go into, for example, an, uh, another Angelica or something, uh, which is really nice. Uh, we have Fire Flint uh, Lady. Uh, because it's a really good uh, extension sometimes, and if you already have like Oliver, Oliver, you can just you get her with Durandal or something, and just go into the uh, level five. It's really good, and also since uh, yeah, he's an on tuner, so that's basically the main reason for it. And then of course we have Gear Freed. Um, it was um, opting. I was opting 
uh, between getting Girfried or getting the um, Bradamante uh, Angelic Ring uh, combo. But um, this needs two slots in your deck, uh, and Girfried only needs one, so I just thought maybe it would be uh, better, especially because Girfried is more generic, because uh, Angelic is just spells, so uh, it can be good to have your in your side deck and you just side out this engine, like, for example, you can cut, like, second Renaud and just uh, put in Bradamante and Angelic Ring, um, so that... You, you, if, you, if you're playing something like Despia, uh, you don't get like super polyed or something, and and yeah, those were basically my monsters. And of course, triple museum, triple heritage, triple Durandal because it's our consistency cards. Museum is actually insane. Neither of its effects are once per turn, which is wild. If you have multiple museums, you can just really go off. Uh, heritage is really really good as well because depending on what you want to search for you can just get any monster for example uh, so like full combo is like uh, museum heritage Durandal, rota uh, or ogier plus any or own ogier um, plus any combination of the other ones uh, and Renaud will only not combo uh, with uh, Durandal and Museum. It's uh, harder because uh, Renaud needs uh, needs special summon by its effect to become a tuner, you know? So, um, yeah, yeah, that's basically it. But you can still full combo, not with the gear free line, but you can still full combo, for example, if you have the Ricardetto instead. Uh, or basically any and any of the, any combination of these you can just go Oliver uh, with Lady. Uh, yeah, it's just a really really consistent. Uh, you have lots and lots of ways into uh, the cards that um, you it will get you your combos. And yeah, then we have the one Almase because it's really really good, especially to set up Gear Free since you need to banish one equip. Then you need to have another one for the Emperor on the Emperor Charles in the end phase. So Almase is really really good for that. And can also bait some um Angelica Angelica like uh targeting because uh you want to you can equip it um uh you can equip it to itself and then of course uh it's gonna like be uh, baiting uh, for like any interaction on Angelica, so that that it doesn't get to activate its effect to uh, get into the Roland and everything. Um, but if that doesn't work, it just substitutes itself for the Randall, and the Randall gets you the Ogier and then Ogier and sends another targeting. So you have like two targets on on the same uh, card if you already don't have in the graveyard. Uh, and Joyous can have some uh, application, so I really like it as a one-off. Uh, Rota, of course, in the Warrior deck, Rota is just insane. And, of course, the Super Heavy Summer Engine, I decided to go with three Wakaushi, two Benkei, because if you draw this, uh, you can't play unless you have the second one in the deck. So, uh, yeah, uh, it just uh, having the second one just boosts our chances of not breaking. With Wakaushi, uh, then we have the one motorbike for um, uh, literally just for Baron combos because you need to search this to get this to the graveyard to get the guy so that you have a level two tuner for uh, Axel, and of course Gaia is our uh, level four uh, search. Uh, I've seen people trying the um, the Soul Piercer, uh, but I just feel like um, Soul Piercer is just not good enough, uh, because um, then you lose your normal summon, and sometimes you can really need your normal summon with some of these lines, um, so yeah, I just prefer uh, Soul Gaia and uh, Soul Horns, just so we can make the level 5, and with that we have 10 slots open for um, non-engine, with, I decide to go 3 Ash, 3 Veilers, so we can't play in Perm because of this um, Super Heavy Samurai, uh, so three Veiler, uh, which is uh, good because both Veiler and Droll are uh, spellcasters for Selene to, uh, to for us to OTK. Um, since we don't have uh, Isolde anymore, so uh, yeah. 
It is what it is, but yes, uh, it's our way to OTK sometimes with just access code talker. Uh, so yeah, three Valor and then decide to play two Droll to Nibiru because we need some eye uh, power um, end traps. But I just feel like having these generic end traps as well is really, really uh, even more necessary. So I just decided to go with six and four for the eye um, impact end traps. And so yeah, ten non engine, um, extra deck really simple Baron for obvious reasons. Axel for access to Baron, double Angelica because sometimes if your opponent really disrupts you, uh, going first and you uh, go out of targets, uh, the second Angelica may come up next turn so that you can explode that second uh, on the second turn. Um, w w something I really like about the deck is uh, even if you like can't. Um, Go into Angelica. Uh, the, in the in the worst case possible, you just end on SP and probably have um, any ways to play next turn and just explode again. So uh, yeah, uh, they are gonna need to waste a few end traps on Angelica for for it to um, to work. But um, <coughs> uh, but yeah, two Angelica uh, I seem like is very standard. Then we get the one Roland. Engine engine piece Charles as well engine piece uh, the double uh, Emperor Charles once again um, engine um, uh, engine necessities uh, I don't feel like a third is really needed at all I feel like two is uh, more than enough then we have the double Charmers heat and dark just so that you can um, go up the ladder into um, access code on your second turn. Uh, IP because sometimes we have the option to go for it instead of the second Charles and it makes our board much better having the quick uh, link into SPA on your opponent's turn. Selene and Access Code for obvious reasons and uh, Typhon. So uh, just because it wins a lot of matches against some decks. Uh, some notable mentions for extra deck might be some Link ones like Anima for example can be really nice sometimes. We play a lot of link uh, of uh, level one, so depending on what your hand is, you can go that way. Um, but I just thought I didn't really need it at all, and yeah, that's my list. Uh, I hope I could help you. Uh, Infernoble is pretty much not that uh, at all. Uh, the combos are still uh, really good. Uh, it just may just not be as uh, resilient. To uh, ant traps as it was with Isolde, but uh, it's still really, really good, and I like it a lot. And can also play under Droll depending on what your hand is, uh, which is really nice. But yeah, <laughs> Droll hurts a lot this deck, uh, but there's just no way around it. You either drop some uh, slots in your non engine for some cross outs, or you just deal with it, and yeah. That's basically it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this deck profile. Leave a um, like down below if you did. Comment if you have any su suggestion or question for me. And subscribe to never miss any of my future videos. And that's it. I'm going to see you guys next time.